So catching fire sees Katniss back fighting for her life again. Um, can you tell us why she's back in the arena and how she feels about it? Um, Katniss is back in the arena because they've had the 75th annual Hunger Games, which is a quarter quell. So every 25 years, they throw a wrench in, <laughs> if you will, and come up with new um, ways to new ways for the reaping. Um, and this time all the past victors who have already won the Hunger Games will be reaped. Um, and it's a pretty physical role. You're fighting, running, swimming, climbing. Um, would you say you're quite naturally an active person or are the training regimes for these films out of the ordinary? Um, the training for these movies is pretty out of the ordinary. I mean, I, I work out and try to stay relatively healthy, but um, this is working out every day. Well, five days a week, which is every day for me. <laughs> Um, and after winning the Hunger Games, Katniss is thrown into a media spotlight. Um, to what extent can you identify with her situation? Um, I mean, I identify with, you know, I think when she goes back home and everybody in District 12 is kind of treating her differently and she doesn't feel different. She doesn't feel like a stranger and all of a sudden she feels like she doesn't really fit in anywhere and I know what it feels like to kind of be put into bizarre clothes that don't feel like you and say things that don't feel like you. Um, and there is much more romance to look forward to, and it's fair to say there'll be a lot of jealous fans with you getting to kiss both Liam and Josh. Um, can you tell us how the love triangle develops in Catching Fire? Candace's relationship is, changes um, a lot with PETA in this, in this second movie because Candace and PETA have survived something together, so there's this part of her that only he will ever understand, and vice versa. And whereas Gail used to kind of know Katniss and one way, now PETA knows this new and changed Katniss in a way that, that Gail never will. Um, and the costume design from Trish Somerville is amazing. Um, can you tell us a bit about your costumes and was there a particular favorite of yours? Yes, Trish Somerville is an incredible costume designer. She's a genius. I think that my favorite costume is probably the chariot dress because it was such a like gladiator, warrior woman dress and it was easy to walk in. Um, so I, like, I definitely like that one. And finally, um, I heard that you've thrown some house gatherings for the Hunger Games. Um, I was just wondering if you could tell us a bit about them. Sam had said that they were a great laugh. Yeah, they were pretty great. Um, they, at one party, we it all turned into like we had weapons. You either had one of Woody's socks, which is disgusting, or we had like three Nerf guns going on at the same time. My couch was flipped over. Um, I don't know if I got the security deposit back from that apartment. Jennifer Lawrence, thank you very much. Thank you.